What's up guys, Grim here. Now I used to be a huge Age of Conan player, which is the MMO that's made by Funcom. And I was a big time player on that game. And I'm just a big fan of the Conan lore altogether. All the Robert E. Howard stuff. I love all the lore that goes with it. All the stories, all that. And the game just was fabulous whenever I played it. It was one of those things that... I started playing it and the world that I absolutely loved was coming to life right in front of my eyes. The graphics were incredible. The gameplay was great. I was blown away by the game. I loved it. And I leveled up all the way up to max level on several different characters and I even got into raiding which uh, usually I stay away from PvE too much on games. I usually focus more on the PvP but on Age of Conan I got big into the raiding. And I got into a guild that was doing the in-game rating, which uh, at the time was T4, which I believe is still the in-game after years of not playing it. So the thing is, is about Conan, the Age of Conan game, is that although it was really good, it really was neglected as in there was never really much for updates and all that it seemed like they were just doing things to try to get you to extend your subscription without putting too much work into it uh what i was kind of led to believe is they really didn't have the resources as in uh, a lot of the developers were pulled off of the age of conan game and put onto the secret world and also like a lego mmo that they were doing so the game really has fallen down from what I believed it was back then. And well, my character is completely geared out in all T4 gear and they're still saying that that's the top gear in the game apparently. But why I'm bringing all of this up is because Age of Conan is on its seventh year anniversary right now. And it has a new update called Shadow of Vanaheim. And this is supposed to open up some new areas. Uh, what is what is the area? It's uh, in the mountains. I remember it was uh, frost covered. Oh, the Blue Mountains. That's what it was. There was a lot of snow in that air, area. And the people that lived in that area are called the Veneer. And it seems like the the expansion pack is focusing on those people and the conflicts between the Sumerians and the Veneer. So, yeah, I'm wanting to really try to get back into this game a little bit and see what's in it. I am kind of discouraged after reading this article because it makes it sound like lots of good things have come to the game, like a PvP, uh update to where it's a little bit easier to get some of the beginning pvp gear and it's easier for the progression so to say it isn't as steep of a progression as it was back whenever i played and uh there's lots of new areas apparently and there's new mounts there's all kinds of new stuff and this adventure pack what is what they're calling it, is an adventure pack it looks like it's pretty cool uh, it's $20 for subscribers or for free players. Now, the thing is, is that as soon as you get down into the comments down here. Now, okay, let me, let me do a little bit more of a back history. Now, whenever I was playing Age of Conan, there was a guy that was the main developer. And, you know, in Rift, if you watch my Rift channel, the big developer was uh, Daglar, the leader of the team of developers that everybody focused all their hate on it was kind of crazy but in this game there was another guy and man i forgot his his name that he went by but uh man he he was the person that was kind of responsible for what all was going on i'm sure he was getting orders from the uh main people of funcom but basically they were not working on the game very much and whenever stuff would break it would take a long time to fix it i mean as in it's not just uh a graphical error or something like that it was game breaking stuff and it would take them forever to fix it it's like they didn't have the developers to work on it and i uh, remember one of the things that really stuck out is they were all located uh 
I believe over in Europe where all the development team was. Well, they decided to uh, put a team into Canada, I believe it was. I might be mixing up a little bit here. But uh, there was some stuff that happened over around the Christmas month, you know, during December, that a lot of things broke in the game and they needed somebody to work on it. But yet they said, well, we're in the process of moving some of our team down to North Carolina or something like that. And also they're off on Christmas vacation. So yeah, nothing's getting worked on right now. And all the players were waiting around while everything in the game was messed up. It was absolutely incredible that they were doing that. And, uh, and our guild that was doing the in-game raiding had been killing the same in-game bosses over and over for months and months. And no updates was happening. Finally, they did come out with an update called uh, Dragon Spine, I believe it was. And it opened up some new lands, but the lands were incomplete. There wasn't a whole lot to do. Uh, and the gear that you got there wasn't really better than the in-game gear that was happening uh, of the last expansion. So, yeah, it, it was completely crazy how this company was being run. And then they released The Secret World, which was a new MMO. And a lot of people uh, flocked to that and said it was a really good game. But it seems like that's kind of fading out as well now, so I'm not too sure. But one of the things that I wanted to touch on here is all the comments that people were making. It, it, I thought that the game had changed because they changed the main uh, lead guy uh, that was leading it. And the new guy was talking about how he was going to focus on it so hard. And all these things that the players have been wanting, he's going to make happen because he's a player himself. He's been a player for all these years. And he's going to really satisfy the player's needs because he was mentioning things that players have been mentioning for a long time. And usually the developers were avoiding those topics, you know, the ones that people are really criticizing them on. So he was addressing them. He was going, yeah, we're going to work on it. This is exactly what you guys have been mentioning to us and we're going to work on it. Well, here's the comments. People are saying, you know, content, you mean the one daily area and the vanity crap? A lot of people were just complaining all over this list. I remember there was going to be an update called uh, Barroom Brawling where you were going to be able to like fist fight other people in bars and stuff. Apparently that hasn't made it into the game. Now, mind you, I haven't played this game for years. So all of this stuff was mentioned back whenever I was playing it and promised. And it, apparently a lot of it isn't even in the game. Basically, this entire list of comments is just people saying stuff about how all these things were promised years ago and they're still not in the game. Uh, and apparently they're getting charged for this new adventure pack, which they're saying is not much of an adventure pack. It's more like a anniversary update because it's a seven year anniversary thing. And they're wanting to charge people for all this stuff. And they're really upset about it. And also you got the people that are saying that they paid for these expansions and adventure packs and all that. And then whenever their subscription ran out, all of a sudden they can't access those areas. Uh, it is a free to play game with a subscription model that you can go to, but it's supposed to be an option. You know, you can, you're supposed to be able to play it free if you want to. And this is one of the games that apparently is restricting you pretty big time whenever it comes to that. And people are just really, really upset all together. They even made, a uh, YouTube videos mocking it and everything else. So I'm going to log into the game. I'm going to get on my free to play account and show you my character and let's see how the game has changed. <laughs> 